So you want to solve the bottle puzzle without actually cutting the string. Um, I'm going to take you through the four fairly easy steps on how to do that in just a second, but first I'm going to show you the different parts and pieces that I made so that when I'm telling you how to solve the puzzle you understand what I'm talking about. So the first pieces are the bottle base, which of course the bottle came in. Um, if yours doesn't quite look like this, don't worry about it. I made three different versions of it. Uh, then we have the bottle top and we have the lock which sits on the bottle top and of course you can't get it out. Um, the next part of the puzzle is the actual puzzle pieces themselves and uh, this is four different pieces. We have the wooden square, we have the smaller cube, we have a large cube and we have the puzzle block is what I call it. So I will now show you how to solve the puzzle. So this is what your bottle looked like when you took it out of the box and um, you need to get it back into this configuration uh, so for us to solve it. So in order to do that what we have is the large cube on one side, the rope going through a nice arc over the top of the bottle top, the smaller cube and the square block on the other side and the puzzle lock sitting nicely in the center of the bottle top. And it doesn't matter whether the large cube is on the front or the back of the bottle, uh, solving it is done the same way. So what we're going to do first to solve the puzzle is we're going to take the square block and we're going to push it through the puzzle slot. And we're going to hold that at about an inch away from it. The second step is to take the large cube and pull it all the way up to the bottom of the puzzle slot and take all that excess rope and pull it so that the small cube is sitting parallel to the puzzle slot. The second step is then to take and push the puzzle slot and the smaller cube through the bottle top so that now you have both cubes on one side. The rope is in the shape of an S and the uh, wooden block is on the other side of the thing. So now we're going to take the bottle, turn it 90 degrees and push the puzzle slot down over top of the bottle top. Step four is simply to take the smaller cube, push it through the bottle top, and your bottle is free. So to put the puzzle back together, uh, if you're going to do it with a different uh, bottle, uh, first of all, because at the liquor store I found out that bottles are all different sizes, I found that out after I made these, uh, you may want to take the base with you just to make sure that your bottle is going to fit into it. Um, then in the bottle top there is a string and it just has a knot in it so that you can readjust that knot for different height bottles. Uh, pull it in there. What you want to do is try to make sure that when you put it together that this is fairly tight. You don't want a lot of things so that they could just lift it off and, and not have to go through the puzzle to do it. So to actually put the puzzle back together again you want it in this configuration where you have the large cube at one end, the smaller cube on top of the puzzle slot and the square block out the bottom. Oops. And you will, holding the smaller cube, you want to put this over top of the bottle top and then put that smaller cube through the bottle top, lift the puzzle block back over, making sure you have all of that string available for that middle cube. Take the small cube and the puzzle slot and push it through put the large square through and that is it. That's what the puzzle looks like when you got it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, solving this as much as I enjoyed making them for you. That you had a great Christmas and we will see you guys soon.